Chess friends, God is the supreme controller of the nature and universe, he is the supreme operator and destroyer of every molecule's atoms nature time and he is the source of every living entities, he is the most attractive most kindful most powerful, and all-knowing person, today I played with God with his infinite IQ in the supreme heaven. So let's go, God started the game with E4, we have D6 pick defense, it is my book opening so I has to follow my book moves. We have d4 knight f6 knight c3 knight here and God played h3 to defend his position, God is the all-knowing person so he knows that how to play chess at the infinite elo level, he played a3, this a3 and h3 move is protecting most of white's squares, I don't know why I didn't play it like this, maybe because my intelligence is not at his level, we have some standard moves and now God pushed his d-pawn, he has expanded his center structure but my position is not completely restricted. Because I have knight b8 to improve my knight position and play c6, God allows every living being to live freely, and in our human life it is our duty to know what God is and to serve God, otherwise our human life will be wasted like a cat and dog's life, just sleep, mate and protect, it is not human life, human life is meant for to use our intelligence properly, love and be devoted we have g6 to move back the knight to play f5, so after rook b1 knight e8 I am threatening to play g5. God played queen c2 to protect that square, this video is not just for playing chess but to understand who is God and where is God, take an example of gold as God, gold is neither Hindu nor Christian gold, nor Muslim gold, gold is gold, a ring can be a gold and a stick can be a gold too, similarly God is one and at the same time he have trillions of forms, seeing God in everyone, loving everyone and nature as God is the true spirituality, you are part and parcel of God and someone is also part of God. An animal is also part of God, of course the body is different as in the example of the ring and the golden stick but the soul is completely the same, then why do you feel jealous, it is not human life, it is the life of cats and dogs, fighting each other just to prove who is the best and not understanding what is life, what is God, anyway God played f4, did he forget that the bishop would fall into the trap? We have e4 to trap the bishop, but God said, I have no problem, even if I play without king and queen, I can beat you in chess, he sacrificed the knight to get the light square diagonal, this game reminds me of yesterday's alpha zero game, few moves later we have knight d4, here if you give white extra two moves, then white will build his pawn structure, it will be a great structure for white to place the knight on e6, the white piece will be most active in that position, so back to the position. We have queen e8 to play c6, and after some moves later, we have f5, to play knight e6, if you take the knight then the light square will. Be open, God will play bishop d4 to target the knight, then queen g4 check to destroy black's complete position, so in this position we have knight d7, bishop h6 and here if you play any normal move for example a5, then God will push the pawn to sacrifice it, takes bishop takes g7 king takes bishop, knight f5 check will arrive there, the king has to run on h8 because king g8 is not possible, there is queen check on g5 and checkmate on g7, therefore God will play rook takes bishop. There will be a checkmate in few moves, because the king have no security and after rook g7, takes and checkmate, my game will be over so back to the position, I played amazing knight e5 move to target the bishop and play bishop f6, God pushed his g pawn, wow, that's a brilliant choice, he has no fear for his king or his pieces, because he is always with the righteous, so I plant my bishop on h4, rook e3 and after two moves later, I want to play queen f6 and rook e8, so God pushed his g pawn again. They are God's representatives, causing many problems for my position, so queen f7 bishop c2 and I played queen h5, here my queen bishop and knight threaten 12 different chess tactics, let me show you a variation, if you play a4 then I will capture the pawn, and after doing big exchanges on f5 square, I will sacrifice the rook, then the f3 knight, you has to take the knight, takes and the game will be in my control, queen c2 queen g3 check rook blocks queen check king h2 rook goes to b1, and that's it. Your bad luck will come, queen f5 and it will be a checkmate on h1, if you or Magnus were playing with white, I could easily beat you, but it is God who is playing chess with white, so he play outstanding move queen e3, this move defends all of my 12 big strategies and tactics, 
even genius people can't understand this because their IQ is under my 4000 LO, we have rook f7 with the idea of playing knight takes pawn, so f6, if you dare to protect the knight, let me show you the variation. Then rook g2 will come to create some troubles for you, so a5 knight e6, takes takes rook f8 queen e4, checkmate is coming so you has to play rook f7 which is the best move, so after takes takes, queen d5 check will mate you, black will be checkmated, so back to the position, I am the part and parcel of god so I played my insane 4000, 200 elo move bishop takes h3, sacrificing the bishop, here comes another crazy move bishop f2, the king can't take the bishop, because of this reason, so after king g2 and I win back my material, rook e4 to target this, so I decided to do queen exchanges, rook b2 to target it, bishop d1 bishop c5, the pawn can't take the knight because of this reason so god takes the knight with bishop, my king side is totally restricted and I can't move out the king and rook, so I decided to capture the bishop, and free up some space for my king, we are entering the end game now. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.